Hi, today I am going to make pomegranate flower. A very pretty flower with its little fruits and buds. Materials required are crepe paper in peachish orange, green, red, thick wire, thin wire, green floral tape, this is yellow acrylic paint and cotton wool. All measurements are in centimeter. This is a stencil for the bud. This is 4 by 4 centimeters. Cut as many as you like. This is for the stamen. This is 2.5 by 6 centimeters. Cut one piece each for a flower or fruit. This is of the petal. This is 3.75 by 1.75. The stem is 1.5 by half a centimeter. Cut 7 to 8 pieces. This is of the sepal. This is 4 by 3.5 cm at the base and 4.5 cm here. Cut one piece per flower and one piece per fruit. This is of the leaf. This is 6 by 1.5 cm and the stem is half a cm by 1 cm. Cut a piece of thin wire. This is about 7 cm long. Now take the piece for the stamen. Stretch it. Fold it and then again first just cut off the single fold leaving a little on one side and then make fine cuts on it Like this. Now just take the yellow paint and put it on top of these strips. like this. Now just open it and let it dry. Now take some glue and apply it on the base of the strip. and wind it on this wire Like so. Now take a petal. First just stretch the center and then stretch the edges. So you get a crimpled petal like this. I have already done with the others. Now just apply some glue on the stem and stick this. like this take the next one and stick this overlapping the first one a bit and at the same height so I'm going to stick all of these petals the same way so this is how it will look now take some cotton wool, a good amount take the flower and apply some glue on the base 
and on the wire. Take this wool and just stick it here, forming a kind of a ball. So just push it, you know, in place. Like this. Now take the piece for the sepal. First, just curve them. And then stretch it in the middle. It will become like this. Apply glue on the sides and on the insides. Take the flower. Now the sepal should be just uh, below the flower point. First press that and then just close the sides, twisting the ends. So you have to press here in order to get that vase like shape and just pull down these sepals. Like this, then just open out the petals one by one. So, this is the flower. Now, take some green tape. Stretch it and wind it from the base of the sepal till the end of the wire. Like this. For the half open bud or uh, a little fruit, not the full pomegranate, so take the wire. This is about again 7-7.5 seven, seven centimeters. Now I have already cut the stamen and colored them. So just apply glue. And wind them on this wire. like this now apply some glue on the base as we did for the flower and on the wire a bit take some wool and just wrap it around this at the same spot forming a ball Take the sepal, again first just curl them outwards, then stretch the middle portion, apply glue, Now this time the sepal points would come almost at the same level as the sepals. So first just close them up a bit and then close the base twisting the ends.
like this so you get this bulge and just open these points a bit so you get a, a little fruit like this and just take the green floral tape Wind it from the base so for the small bud again cut a piece of thin wire this is about eight and a half centimeters take some wool Apply glue on top of the wire, one end, and just put the wool on it. Take the square for the bud, stretch it. Just stick it on this. Bringing down the sides and then just twisting the ends. Like this. Take some tape. Just wind it from the base of the bud. For the leaf, just pull the sides a bit on the center so you get a uneven shaped leaf. Now take a thick wire and the green floral tape stretch it so I'll start with the flower on top and leave a very little uh, stem for the flower give a couple of vines then take this small bud as that take a leaf so you can have about two three leaves at the same point Then I'll attach these. Now I've made a little branch of a flower and a bud with leaves, so I'll attach that.
now just open out the leaves they should be almost perpendicular to the stem This is how the branch would look. 